Hello everybody, I hope all of you are well. Now for those of you who are doing the 2020 exams this autumn, I just want to show a few things that might help you prepare for them because you've had a rough time, school was just completely kind of, it just stopped really quickly. You didn't have all the end of school things that you would normally do like a prom or whatever it might be. So you've had a really tough time of it. And now when you're doing these exams, you're not in school, in revision classes, having that chance to talk to your teachers. You've probably been left alone for sort of six, seven, eight months. Now, I do have some stuff that can help you get through this. If you go to alevelphysicsonline.com, then it means not only do you get the videos that you can find on YouTube, but you can also find the right videos ordered for the exam board that you're doing. Now, from any page now, I've got this bar at the top, which has the main exam boards. Um, something actually added at the weekend was a page for Edexcel international students. I know a lot of you watching this video are all over the world, and this is for you if you're an international student. You can find the topics um, in each unit. And also, if you click on past exam papers, you can now find that I've actually added the latest papers all in one place uh, for this current specification for the international students. But whichever board you're doing, I've got something similar. So a lot of you are doing AQA. Again, if you want to find AQA papers all in one place, um, again, these are on the website. But my website is more than just past papers. It's got videos to help you. And these are the videos that are on YouTube for sort of the year 12 topics. Year 13 topics, if you click on any one of these, uh, let's go for electric fields. If you click on that um, and you kind of buy the premium plan or your school subscribe, then you can find the videos for the year 13 part of the course where it gets a little bit more tricky. So these will just help explain things in maybe a different way to how your teachers have gone through it, maybe in a bit more detail than your textbook. And a lot of students are finding this really useful at the moment. Something else that's on the website, if you go to COVID-19, this has all of the live streams that I did during the summer when everything was completely shut down. So I'm gonna leave these on the website. If there's something you maybe want to have a look at like gravitational fields or electric fields, whatever it might be, these are the topics where I went through um, an, a set of exam style questions and you can still find all the material on the website including uh, the question sheets I put up and also my work solutions. So that's all on the website. The other thing about the website I just want to show you is if you're wanting to know which videos I've actually made, if you go down to the bottom, well not only you can see it's actually been recommended by the exam boards and, uh, and a lot of these kind of big organisations, if you go down to website stuff and go to full video index, then you can find that I've got a list of all the videos that I've made for um, A-level topics. So a lot of the free ones here, but also there's ones for year 13 topics. So this is the kind of stuff that I've been making videos about. And if you want to watch these videos, all you need to do is simply choose the exam board that you're doing. Um, let's say you were doing Edexcel. You click on that page and it brings up for the year 13 content, these pages here where you can click on the title and then that takes you to the web page that actually has the video on it. So a lot of this will be helping you prepare for your exams in addition to what your teachers have been doing and what I know that you've been doing. So keep up uh, dated with stuff I'm doing on YouTube by subscribing if you haven't already done so. I'll do what I can over the next few weeks and months and then um, whatever happens, at least you've had a chance to kind of prove yourself and actually show how much you have learned over the last few years. So I hope some of this is useful and good luck, whatever happens, do your best, that's all that can be asked. And hopefully um, when you get into your exams, you'll get back into the rhythm of revising and that means you'll do really well, improve your grades and have then better chances to get onto the course that you want in the future. So thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll hear a lot of my voice over the next few weeks as you're preparing for your exams. Thank you.